Right, and I've talked to some managers at farming supply stores who tell me that customers are coming in and buying ivervectin to treat COVID symptoms, uh, but doctors say that using a drug that's formulated for animals thousands of pounds, uh, it can not only be dangerous if it's used on humans, it can also be deadly. 12 News went to three farming supply stores Monday searching for ivermectin, a drug primarily used as a deworming agent in livestock. Instead, we found empty shelves with signs warning people against using it as a COVID treatment. There really is no good data that would suggest that there is a benefit of ivermectin in the doses that humans can tolerate uh, in preventing or treating COVID-19. Doctors do sometimes prescribe ivermectin to treat head lice or intestinal worms in people, but according to the CDC, the number of ivermectin prescriptions written in the U.S. has skyrocketed since July. Some Republican politicians have advocated for ivermectin as a treatment for COVID, like Senator Ron Johnson, who talked about it on a podcast last week. Why not allow doctors to use their off labor prescription rights and, 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 and experiment with different things? It just might help. And of course, there's growing evidence that ivermectin can be effective. In medicine, we, we don't typically just throw Hail Marys and say, hey, this might work, so why don't you try it? However, doctors with UW Health say ivermectin is not an antiviral drug and that there are reports of people overdosing. Whatever you do, um, you know, don't go to your local farm supply store, uh, buy a medication that is meant for a cow or a horse and think that there's any way that you could possibly take that safely. Uh, that just needs to not happen. Now, Caroline, what does Senator Johnson have to say about the pushback from doctors on ivermectin as a form of treatment for COVID? I reached out to his office. They did not answer my questions and told me that Senator Johnson was not available for an interview tonight, Patrick.